Howdy everybody. This is a package I've been waiting for for like three months now. Um, sorry you didn't get to see me take it out of the box. I This is take two. Take one I accidentally uh, flipped it around and showed his address so I, I didn't want to I didn't want to dox him by accident so uh, starting over but I haven't opened this yet this is just the case but anyway uh, this is a package from engineer snowman on reddit or uh, Robbie on discord he's a great guy he three or four months ago now he asked for some drawings of some dimple picks because he makes a lot of picks but he didn't have any dimensions for dimple picks so I, I, I made some drawings for him I posted those in the description of a video like three months ago if you find them you're free to use them but <laughs> they're probably lost in the abyss of the internet now anyway I sent him those drawings along with some some padlocks and some stuff uh, some wood to make handles out of uh, and he made these for me and sent them back and they were lost in international shipping because he's based in Finland and I'm in Texas they were lost in international shipping for like three months. I pretty much given up all hope of ever seeing these. So let us see. Let us open the box. I'm stunned that this is in one piece. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. And also a purple box. That is my favorite color, so well done. Happy about that. A little bit of a logo. Is there a little bit of glitter in this? Or is that just the way it's printed? I don't know. Either way, I like it. I like the sparkles. Camera, show off his logo for fuck's sake. All right. Let's see if I can open this. How does this open? I don't want to break it. Does this slide or does it really pop off? I think. Oh, okay. It just pops off. 3D printed packing material. Glorious. I'm actually going to reuse that because... Oh, it's like springy. That is... What is this printed with? I don't... I'm not really... Oh, not really a 3D printer, so I don't know. Holy fuck. Oh, look at that. This is Purple Heart? Oh, that is some nice finish. Now, supposedly, oh my god, look at the polish on that. Look at that, that's... That is so nice. And, uh, this line here is in line with the flag. Focus! God damn it, camera. Is in line with the flag, so you always know where that is, unless the metal gets twisted. Ooh, that, that's pretty stiff. Beautiful. Ooh, that feels nice. So this is Purple Heart. I asked for Purple Heart and Bog Oak. I actually sent him the wood, so. This is Bog Oak, so this is, this handle is like at least a thousand years old, something like that. Beautiful. So yeah, he turned these on a lathe, and then made the tips, put them all together. Oh, 3D printed a case for him. All right, but these are works of art, obviously. There's no doubting that. Question is, are they functional? So let's let's do a quick test. Is a multi lock classic because these picks are supposed to, if I got my measurements right, they're supposed to be the right size to pick a multi lock. So, multi lock classic. I think this is a C8 little guy. For these should be the. Let me grab a tension wrench from the closet. I am not prepared. I'm not prepared, I just got home from work and I'm 
It's literally 100 degrees outside right now, and I work out. I was outside all day today, so my I'm I'm not really all there right now, but I don't care. I've been, I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for this for so long. Okay, so this is my modified Sparrows black flag that this tip is based on. So if you look there, you'll see. They should be the same size, roughly. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty good. Oh, they're so light. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, so let's put this tension wrench in. If I break this pick, I will be so god damn mad. Which one of these is the right direction? I think it's this purple one. Desk is a mess. I have never actually used a homemade pick before, so. Feedback is good. I'm a little out of practice with dimples, unfortunately, so. Ooh, it is the right size to fit inside, so nothing wrong with the tool, it just comes down to me now. All right, getting there. Maybe I should have practiced before this video. But, ooh, that felt like it. Something just set. All 
And my hand is cramping. I just dropped something. It all feels set, but it's not. This is definitely not the tool, by the way. Um, this pick is fantastic. I have no complaints with it. This is just me being out of practice because I haven't been doing a lot of picking lately. Aha! There we go. Got that false set now. Whew, I am out of practice. Five minutes to get a false set, my god. It's embarrassing. Particularly since I picked this lock. Nearly to death. I used to take this padlock and take it with me to class and pick it during lectures. Aha! There we go. Okay. So, it works. You did an amazing job, Robbie or Engineering Snowman. I don't know which one you prefer, uh, but whichever of those names you prefer, it doesn't matter because... You do some beautiful work. Gorgeous. That's right, this won't lock up unless I close it. So yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a mirror finish. Gorgeous. Couple of nicks in it now because I just used it. And I am not... I at, for the record, I am not a gentle picker, but this this uh, this steel. I think you said they were uh, firing pins. Was that it? I don't know, but it seems to be holding up good. It's it's definitely better than the Sparrow stuff, which is like super bendy. And it's just like you can feel it bend. I've actually broken two of my Black Flag picks, or maybe three. No, just two, two of them already. This feels stiffer. I don't know how it'll last long term, but it feels pretty good. I will be very sad if I ever break this because it is beautiful. I don't know how much use I will see for this one because usually I pick locks in this direct, uh, the clockwise direction, and this pick is more for counterclockwise picking. Although I do have a Yale padlock that I've been meaning to do a video on that I actually do pick the other direction. So I guess you'll get some use in there. But that is a video for another day. Uh, right now, I'm gonna put these back in there. Can we just take a second? This 3D printed packing material, it's squishy. What is this?
beautiful, and I love the case, which is good because I move a lot as a college student. I bounce between dorm rooms and my parents' basement all the time, so this being in a nice box like this, very handy. All right, thank you again. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.